Welcome to the Finance by CWT YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer the question, is BlackRock a good investment at current prices? And doing kind of video essays like this, something I'd like to do a lot more of. So if you like it, make sure to you know like, subscribe and all that. And also check out the CWT Stock Club. You can check it out, link in bio. It's the best way to support the channel. But anyway, on to the topic. So BlackRock is the largest asset manager in existence. They currently have around $10 trillion in assets that they manage, and most people know them because the creator of the iShares ETFs, which is several different ETFs that a lot of people have in their you know, Roth IRAs, 401ks. That's a big way that BlackRock gets money that they manage. So the first thing I want to do is look at the company's financials. At current prices, the company has a P.E. ratio of 22.67, which is price divided by earnings per share. They have a market cap of $123 billion, and they also have a dividend yield of 2.47%. So one thing I wanted to look at is the P.E. ratio, because historically that is pretty high for this stock. Now another thing that I'd like to look at is analyst recommendations. So according to Zach's research, on their website, they have 16 brokerage firms that have given their recommendations to either, you know, for BlackRock, either as a strong buy, buy, hold, or sell. 75% have given a rating of either a strong buy or a buy. But as Zach points out in their research, a lot of the, you know, strong buy buys, a lot of analyst ratings, are a little biased, especially with a company like BlackRock, as big as it is, and controlling as much as the finance world as they do, you know, there's a strong incentive for brokerage firms to be on their good side. So I'm not saying that, you know, all the ratings for BlackRock are biased or anything like that, but that's definitely something to keep under consideration that a lot of companies want to work with BlackRock and want to be, you know, in the good graces of BlackRock. So that does have an effect on ratings also. But that being said, 75% do give BlackRock a rating of either strong buy or buy at this moment. So one thing that is very important is growth, because as we mentioned, they have a you know fairly high earnings per share right, or, or they have a fairly high PE ratio right now. You know than historically they have. So with growth, BlackRock is expected to grow revenue by 12.4% in 2024. If you look at what most analysts are predicting revenue growth for BlackRock being, compared to 2023, that's how you get the 12.4% number. But that's what BlackRock is, is expected to grow. But what really matters is earnings per share. BlackRock is expected to grow from 37.77, which is the total year they did in 2023 earnings per share to 40.18 in 2024. So both revenue and earnings are, expect, are expected to grow at a pretty good rate this year. So in conclusion, BlackRock is currently trading really high relative to their earnings, which is one thing to consider when buying the stock. It's one thing I was looking at when I was looking at the stock because, you know, with that, it's important to also remember they're also expected to grow. So with the growth rate, I do still think that BlackRock is currently trading pretty high relative to their earnings and future earnings. One thing that I didn't count put in the slide, but that is true, is that their future P.E. ratio, which is the future estimates being considered, is also 20, which is very high for an asset management company. So I do think that BlackRock is you know, slightly overvalued than what they should be. But that being said, they are a huge company. They are still growing, and it's definitely one to keep on a watch list. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.